Are you hot burning it? Lisa! Does he have more of a basketball bot or a football bot? He doesn't play sports. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so this is a secret movie review. I went and saw a secret movie. I didn't know what it was. And it's called Lisa Frankenstein. Mm. Didn't know what the movie is. Okay, so it's a it's a horror. <laughs> um, a lot of things that this movie is, <clears throat> and um, I don't think I'm gonna give any spoilers. We'll see. But <clears throat> uh, Lisa Frankenstein. All right. So I don't know anything else about this movie. I didn't look at the directors or the actors. Anyways, I'll just give you my unfiltered, unbiased opinion. Take it or leave it. Um, okay, so it's a horror film, <laughs> and it's a it's a romance film. It's an it's a an eighties period piece, eighties nineties early uh, late eighties um, period piece. Uh, and it's uh, what else is it? It's um, dark comedy, which is really really hard. That's a uh, to do. Uh, slasher movie, uh, teen rom com. There's a lot going on in that, but um, very creative movie and a short. I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. Um, too late. Uh, it's kind of you know I liked what they're doing. It seemed like independent. Uh, shot, shot, shot. A lot of actors, you know, probably the main actors are good. Everyone does a solid part. I mean, it sort of reminds me of a student film. And I hope that, uh, I mean, uh, with a budget and, uh, I mean, everyone's working hard. Um, um, it's got, uh, that one actress from the nineties in it. Anyway, the music is really nice. The, the, the music, I like the, the nods of the eighties as a child of the eighties graduated high school in 88. So this is a movie should be, I mean, I, there's laughs and something like that, but I mean, there's laughs, the color palette, so everyone's dressed in the 80s. My film takes place in the 90s, so maybe this is giving me a good influx that this might have some people are taking chances with stuff. It's a creative movie. It's a um, uh, strange dark comedy. It's like uh, about, I it's got a lot of mood, um, goth stuff happening in there. It's like a bunch of kids from the from the 2000s made a, a nostalgia piece of a horror film of the 80s that they wanted to see. I was there. Wait till you see my movie. But anyways, um, I'm still surprised nobody's uh not more people saw Godzilla minus one. Anyways, don't want to jump. We'll keep it to this Lisa Frankenstein. Uh quirky comedy, dark humor. Um uh would I have seen this movie if I would have sought to see this movie and go watch it? No. Uh but it was a surprise movie, so I was I I you don't know. Um uh, would I recommend I mean if you're younger, I mean I don't think this movie's made for a 55 year old dude um and but i mean it tries it has inklings of things i'd give this movie a c um color palace good creative you know um i think the actors are doing a little too much talking all the time so they're like, duh, 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 duh. uh one of the main characters uh the love interest doesn't talk at all you'll know why basically he's a zombie all right they already said it she she Basically puts together this guy. The whole premise is kind of off, but there's a zombie that she made a wish and then it came alive. And then now he's missing an ear. So she they get the ear. He's missing a hand. You get what's happening here. She, where's that stuff going to come from? So there's some other characters, side characters uh, that are kind of fun and kind of hamming it up, trying. Um, I forget the lady's name. We'll put her on here. Who was all in the TV shows? Who was I was in love with back in the day? She plays the mom. Uh, but then you know, then you know, so all the body parts he's missing, she's gotta help him retrieve, and he doesn't have all of his body parts. Romantic comedy. He's missing a vital piece. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and they get it. Um, it's a. Uh, I think it's made for teens but they can't show teens having sex even if it's simulated because they're actors playing teens so it's a uh, bloody gross uh but very uh pg-13 in the um it's innuendos all right that's the end of this thing this is lisa frankenstein 
it's a C movie. I don't know if I'd ever see this. Do I recommend it? Uh, I don't think this movie's made for me. I mean, I enjoy the '80s aspect. It makes me excited to see. That's always fun to play around with. Is that look of the '80s, and it has inklings of like Heather's. Uh, it's got nods to a bunch of '80s movies. In all the T-shirts that everyone's wearing, this one particular character is wearing is always like all 80s stuff 80s so it's, it's really pouncing on that i don't know that's my review i don't even know i mean would go see it i guess if you're in your 20s and you want dark comedy and a laugh i mean i don't know godzilla minus one is still the best movie of the year still of 2024 even is the best movie of 2024 still <laughs> but uh i don't know that's it Ah, I'm sorry, it was more appealing. I mean, the color palette, the creativity, it's creative. All the actors trying to, you know, she's doing sort of a one on a writer thing, the Wayne lead family. It's got a lot of odds to the 80s, like, uh, you know, movies and music. So, smoke a joint, drink a beer, take some LSD, do some mushrooms, go see the movie if you want. I don't know. It's, uh, that's that's it. I already went too long. All right, see ya. Friends with Friends on YouTube, my podcast uh, coming up, more episodes with people in them. This is my movie review of Lisa Fink and Frankenstein, Brett Woods 22 on Instagram and TikTok, uh, brettwoods.com, buy my art. I'll see you guys uh, in the present moment, baby. Uh, enjoy your films out there. Are you hot?